What is going on guys? This is Kevin here from Fashion Forward Always. I'm here with a new video talking about five brands that you should definitely look out for in 2018. So without further ado, let's get started. First up is Cut by Kira. Cut by Kira is an independently run Canadian brand by Michael, I forgot his last name, but they are all independently sourced in Canada. Extremely, extremely nice designs. If you just check out their website, it's just all of the fabrics look extremely luxe. And like just the designs, like a lot of the clothing is very simple, very basic-esque, but they do have some ha like standout pieces such as the trench coat as well as the blue, um, blue crew neck. I just love that like super, super blue, blue, if that even make any sense. So one word that I would use to describe Cut by Kira is, I guess, eloquent or like it just has this air of eloquence and like just like, it just feels so much more of like an expensive brand, even though it is such a smaller brand and the quality is just like extremely there. So I definitely think you guys should check it out. Number two is a brand that I've talked on this channel about. It is Hidden Characters. Hidden Characters is a brand based out of Chicago, USA, and it is originated from the Hypebeast forums or the now defunct Hypebeast forums. So they first got their cult following there, but they've grown out of it. Uh, they have their own Instagram. If you follow Nico, who I believe is the head of Hidden Characters, he's doing a lot of cool stuff. Last year and the year prior was a little bit slow for Hidden Characters, but the end of last year and the beginning of this year has been extremely, extremely promising. So essentially what Hidden Characters does is they do the general streetwear stuff such as um, sweatshirts, t-shirts, crew necks, pants, but they do it in a very unique way and a lot of their graphics are just amazing. Some of it's anime inspired, some of it's very dystopian, so if you guys are into that, definitely check it out. They have these, um, not like a regular scheduled drop, but like you should definitely keep up with their Instagram for you to find out when the next drop happens. One word that I'd use to describe hidden characters is exciting. Um, I see this brand just getting bigger and bigger. I believe they have a stock list or their first official stock list at No Tree, I believe, which is another store in Chicago. They had like a launch there and I'm just like extremely proud to like see one of my favorite brands just growing and like just going above and beyond uh, what they used to be able to do. Third one is a brand based out of Berlin. I did a review on a pair of their bottoms. It is Enfant Leve and their most recent collection really, really surprised me. I saw a lot of interesting designs and I saw a lot of cuts that I was just like, yo, that is actually super dope. A lot of people wrote off um, their brand mainly because they felt like a very derivative brand, almost like trend hopping and not very original. Um, their previous collection, yes, it was a little bit of a derivative, but now it's just, I feel like now they're really trying to be an individual brand and they're really trying to branch out on their own. A lot of their designs are very like street ready, so it's not super like, I guess, futuristic or super, super, I guess, um, I wouldn't say like dystopian, but like a lot of the designs are very, very street ready and I just love a lot of them. They do have a wide variety of materials for a lot of their cuts, so definitely check them out. They do a lot of bespoke stuff, so if you have custom sizing, you can always message them or you can add it to your product description and you can just change whatever you want. I remember I got extra belt loops, uh, I showed the inseam, and then I made the leg opener tighter on my old, um, Uteri cargo bottoms. One word that I use to describe Enfant Leve is, I guess, interesting now. They're very, very, they're getting a bit more confident and they're starting to branch out on more designs and more materials. And I'm just, I'm just all for it, to be honest. Fourth up is Four Dimension by 4D Fang. Four Dimension is a brand based out of Asia. A lot of their designs really stem from this almost like very clean and minimalist appeal, almost like Arteryx. That's like the closest equivalent that I'd like to associate that brand to. It is an independent brand, but they have been making moves for the past like few months. They recently got a stock list at Kith, I believe, for their bags. Their bags are super nice as well. And I just see their production ramping up. I see their notoriety wrapping up. And I do think I'm gonna see a lot of big things in 2018 for a four dimension. They have a more street slash youth appeal like compared to Arteryx. Arteryx is very stoic, very clean, very minimalist. I feel like this brand also has that clean and minimalism, but I do think it is a bit more fun for, I guess, younger people, I guess. Like I sound like an old person, but the youth to mess around with. 
One word I'd like to use to describe 4 Dimension is clean. Last up is Bristol Studios. Bristol Studio is a brand based out of Los Angeles, California. This is a very clean minimalist brand. They have been getting a lot of traction based off of their Adidas collab that they have with the boots you wear. Uh, I believe they did a off-white color and they did a black slate color. I guess minimal, like that would be like the word that I'd like to put it as. It's like minimal, but like a little bit rough around the edges. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. This is gonna be five brands that you guys should look out for in 2018. Comment down below if there's any brands that you want other people to know about or you want me to know about. Let me know if you picked up any products from these brands or whether or not you heard of any of these brands before. Uh, I will be leaving a link in the description down below or links, I guess, in the description down below to all of these brands. So definitely check them out and tell them Kevin sent you. You can follow me on social media at kevin.img and if you guys want to buy any of my grilled stuff, it's going to be down below in the description as well. I give discounts for followers, but it'll be cheaper. DM me on Instagram if you want any deals, ah, offside transactions, ah. see you guys next time. Peace.